Hey there, my name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is part 34. In the last episode, we killed the Antlion, which held Puck hostage. Puck being the guy, of course, in the way beginning of the game that uh, tried to trick Vivi and make him his slave in order to watch the play on top of the rooftops way back in Trino slash Alexandria. Uh, we rescued him from the Antlion. Antlion, gosh darn it, which proved to be a pretty tough fight. Uh, we were able to kill it. Uh, with Zidane being dead and not getting the AP. However, we have a cutscene. We're right in the middle of it, pretty much. We have the King of Burmesia. I see. So you saw Puck, eh? As mischievous as ever, Your Majesty. I haven't seen him in ages. I heard His Highness left Burmesia one month after me. That makes it three years. And yet, both you and Puck decided to return to me in this time of danger. I am grateful. Freya, we shall conduct an ancient ceremony to strengthen the sandstorm. Surely no enemy of ours would attack with the powerful storm protecting Clara. And with the help of a dragon knight like you, the storm should grow even more powerful. Ah, the ceremony from the time when Bermesia and Clara were one. I understand. Zidane, I met with utter failure when trying to defend Bermesia. And I will not allow Braun to exert her will upon us any longer. You've changed, Freya. I didn't think you were so strong when I first met you. I could not bring peace to Bermesia and thus fulfill Sir Fratley's wish. But now all I can do is protect this beautiful place. Yeah, protecting Clara is the best thing you can do for yourself. Doing so will help me. The strings have snapped. A terrible omen this is. I can't believe the sandstorm disappeared. What happened? I don't know. I have never witnessed anything like this since we settled here. On the harp, there is a magic stone. Since ancient times, we have used the power of the stone to control the sandstorm. Perhaps someone is trying to invade Clara. I fear that you may be right, my lord. I only hope our enemies don't come up the trunk. How dare they imprison us like this, those wretched court jesters! Zorn and Thorn will never get away with this. I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. It's pretty sad getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of mistake. I know the queen, she would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's gonna do to the princess. I must save the princess at all costs. I wonder if Mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Remesia? And why did she arrest us like this? I must be sincere with her.
She hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that tall man visited us. Maybe he had something to do with it. Is she referencing Kuja? Because he didn't seem to be that tall. Come to think of it, that's when things began to change. Dr. Tot left Alexandria shortly afterwards, too. What happened that day? Queen Bronn summons you! Come with us! What? How dare you speak to me like that? Quiet! With us you are coming, and that is that! What was that phrase? Oh yeah. Get off me, you scumbag! What was that? I do not understand. Understand what she said, I do not either. Enough, now come with us! Enough, now come with us! Hurry up! For so long the queen has waited. Mother. Darling, there you are! Where were you? I've been worried sick. Here, come closer. Mother, there is something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I will tell you anything you wish to know. Did you... Is it true that you are responsible for the destruction of Remesia? Oh, well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Burmesian rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time. I couldn't just wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom, so I had no choice but to take initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course! I would never lie to you. Or how about don't believe her? I don't believe you! Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why wouldn't you believe in your mother? May I also play a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There is a knight on a white horse, and a beautiful princess. It is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. You, I've seen you before. It appears we were destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. I will take you to a world of dreams. She is beautiful, even in sleep. <laughs> Impudent little girl! Zorn! Thorn! Prepare to extract the Eidolons from Garnet. Eidolons from Garnet. Ah, okay. Okay, the plot's coming together here. A belated happy birthday, princess! Hee hee hee! 16 years old, the princess has become. Draw the Eidolons from her, finally we can. Eidolons of eternal life, Eidolons of infinite power, arise from the 16 years of sleep. Depart after something. Let there be light, let there be life. The time has come, the time is now. Come forth, Odin, warrior of the dark. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know. I was surprised that there even was a sandstorm. Did you know the sandstorm was here for a thousand years? And in all that time it never disappeared? Not even once. Perhaps Braun is behind all of this. What about that guy who was with Braun? Actually, I'm more concerned about who that guy with Braun and Burmesia was. That man. I wonder who he was. Zidane, I'm going to head down to find out why the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm going to go find Vivi and Quina. I'll meet you at the town entrance. Oh, wow. We're actually in control of Freya for once. Well, let's use that opportunity to equip her with the new Partisan, which has Lancer and High Tide. Okay, looks like, yeah, we already have Rice's win. Lancer and High Tide, those, sounds re uh, those sound really good. All right, let's move downwards, I guess. We're just meeting Zidane at the foot of Clara. Although, everything has probably changed, so if I was not doing a Let's Play, I would completely canvas the town again. 
to see uh, all of the new dialogue. I have a bad feeling about this. If it's war they want, then it's war they'll get. See, there's like a whole bunch already. Hey, what took you so long? All right, let's get going. I couldn't find Puck. I wonder if he went down the trunk. This city have very yummy sand. This city delicious. Gross, Queener. Just gross. I failed Bermesia, but I won't fail Clara, no matter what. Alright, and once again, we are in control of Zidane. However, things have changed, of course. There's no more sand, which I think is a good thing, to be honest. Let's go ahead and set our party, shall we? Uh, we'll run through the party, uh, entire party again and make sure they have the best equipment available. I know I've already done this for Zidane, but I have to do it again just to appease my OCD tendencies. Bronze Vest is increased in Spirit and Magic Defense. Okay, that's worse. Mithril Vest is an increase to 2 Defense, 1 Strength. I think I value Strength more, so we'll keep that. Uh, Core Ring is Spirit and Magic Evade. That is better for Mages. Let's go to Freya, who has the Partisan, of course. The Barbet is going to be upgraded to the Mithril Helm. Yes, indeed, that is an upgrade. Mithril Glove should go to Thunder Gloves. Devil Killer and add status. Linen Curious should be a Mithril Armor. Oh, wow, that's a huge increase, yes. And Desert Boots. Uh, I think we want those over the Coral Ring, which we'll give to Vivi, probably. Needle Fork is the same. Let's see, Feather Hat. We're using Queen of mainly as a damage dealer right now, a physical damage dealer, so I think we want strength over magic stats, although the bandana is a huge upgrade. Is there anything other than, than the bandana, though? Uh, the mage's hat, but I think that's going to be better for Vivi. All right, the glass armlet is going to be upgraded to the mithril armlet, I believe, right? Or was it the bone wrist? Yes, the Mithril Armlet is much better. Bronze Vest should be upgraded to a Mithril Vest. Yes. And then as far as a, an accessory... That's right, Vivi already has some... Vivi already has an accessory, so we will equip the Coral Ring. And then on Vivi... Let's see, the Lightning Staff, we are still learning, so we'll keep that. The Magus's Hat, we will switch over to the Mage's Hat, I believe. Although still, the Bandana is probably... Speed, Spirit, Evade, Magic Defense goes down to 13, Magic goes down to 30. Looks like the Bandana's still better, honestly. What do we learn from this? Loudmouth and Fyra. Okay, we're going to keep that then. Uh, let's see, I think we want the Mithril Amulet, Amulet, Armlet, which is going to, uh, yeah, increase all of our Magic stats. Bronze Vest, let's see, Mithril Vest is still better, I think, and then Magician Shoes is good. So now we just need to run through the abilities. Let's go ahead and go to equip. Zidane has no slots, but just to see if he has anything new. Uh, is there anything that we want to de-equip? Unequip? Steel guilt. What is that? Steel guilt along with items. We're not using the steel uh, ability that often, so I think we'll unequip that and we'll get bug killer and bird killer. Yes, that sounds better. All right, moving on. For Freya, let's go to the top. Let's see what we have. We have Devil Killer. We have Add Status. I think that's going to be better, right? Adds Weapon Status Effect when you attack. Yes. What is High Tide? Allows you to trance faster. Ah, that's pretty good. And Insomniac Jelly. I think we want High Tide. So what is Antibody? Poison and Venom is pretty good. Prevents Darkness is really good, though, for a uh, physical attack person. Cover's good as well. Um, so I think we want to unequip these. And then grab High Tide. I think that's going to be the best. Let's go to Queena. Who doesn't seem to have too much. She starts off with High Tide. But we get Insomniac. Prevents Sleep. And Auto Potion. Don't want to use... Actually, Auto Potion sounds incredibly good. Now that I think about it. But we'll still hold off on it. Because I like using the potions myself. I don't want to run out. Um, and then for Vivi. Let's go to the top again. And let's see what we have. Loudmouth, which is prevents silence. That's perfect for a mage. Clear-headed, prevents confusion. Sure. And then we have auto potion, which we will hold off on as well. Now let's go to items and arrange all of them. And I think we'll go and sell something because we have not done that yet. And I think we'll explore some of Clara as well uh, to end this episode. And then we'll move on to something else in the next one. Should have known that was where a boss fight would be. 
There's got to be some point. They wouldn't make an entire screen and then not have a point. You know what I mean? All right, let's hover to the right side this time, and we'll just quickly run through everybody and see if we have any new dialogue options or not. Here was the inn. Hopefully, the people that were selling things are still here. I'm worried. I'm so worried. Just speak up if you need anything from me. Ah, right. Okay, there we go. All right, let's sell some stuff here. We're going to keep all of our use usable items. Oh, that's right. I wanted to I wanted to keep the stuff in case I wanted to learn the things, but we have some uh, duplicates. So we'll sell all the duplicates that we have. Uh, we'll keep one of every weapon pretty much, though. Let's see. We'll sell the wrist, and we'll sell three leather wrists, and three glass armlets, two bone wrists. Hopefully this is not selling the stuff while it's equipped. I really don't think they would do that. But I'm also really hoping that they don't do that. Three leather hats, two feather hats, four steepled hats. And we'll just switch these out between party members, you know, if we do want to learn. If we do want them to learn the various abilities that these things come with. Okay, iron helm, leather shirt, silk shirt, bronze vests, two linen curiouses, and we have a whole bunch of ore. Looks like that's about it. How much gold do we have at the moment? 1700 okay so we got back or 17,000 I should say we got back up to where we were before at least it's a lot quieter no matter what happens I must protect my children oh and there's stilt skin so this is exactly why you may rest here you need pay me nothing no thanks I will do that after I talk to stilt skin up here yeah this is why you want to check back whenever an event happens in a JRPG said that weird JRPG in a JRPG how about a three-piece combo high potion ether and phoenix pigment oh my god I cannot talk for these past two episodes. How about a three-piece combo of High Potion, Ether, and Phoenix Pinion for 444 gil? I think these are all deals usually, so I'm going to just accept every one. Sure. Thanks to you, kid, I can continue my journey. And yeah, that's the bigger benefit. This place is so dusty, you know, I can't stand it. All right, do you have anything else? There's a letter from Monev, Koopo. Let's read it together, see? So many things change. From Monev to Mopley, people are climbing up to Clara since the sandstorm disappeared. Kupo, I have a bad feeling about this. What's going to happen? Will Clara end up like Burmesia? Isn't there anyone who can help us? Kupo! That sounds awful, Kupo. I'm going to pack and leave with Stiltskin. All right, we'll hold off on saving because we will save at the end of this episode, but we got around two minutes left to explore Clara and see if anything else has changed. Let's continue upwards, shall we? Upwards and onwards. All right, anybody over here? Hi, ladies. A view devoid of sand. This troubles me. The view has completely changed. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's almost like an entire sandstorm has disappeared. Kind of like it. It's ironic that it makes it nicer, though. Bright, more bright and less hostile. The disappearance of the sandstorm heralds the coming of invaders. This could be the end of Clara. Why are you all saying this? I mean, it, it, I, I guess it's a likely outcome that it's the end of Clara, but invaders and things like that how would you guys know this is the first time this has ever happened who knows what'll happen maybe maybe something good probably not this is an act of someone with unspeakable powers could a magical force powerful enough to break the harp strings be aimed at us uh yeah probably i wonder why they can't just restart the sandstorm i know they would come i i knew they would come i knew they would come yes indeed all right let's go talk to the king and then we'll end this episode this stone has protected Clara since the days of old. I hereby bestow it upon you in hopes that you may learn to use it. Received emerald. Okay. Wow. We really needed to explore Clara before we left. I fear that an attack is coming. Have you seen Puck? I have not seen Puck, but have you seen any items in this, uh, in this room before I leave? I know you guys gave me an emerald. That's cool. That's cool and all. Received ore. Yes, indeed. All right. Wow. I've never been so vindicated and validated to explore things. Phoenix Pinion. The strings breaking. How foreboding. How foreboding indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this emerald and then we will end the episode. It sounds like that's going to be a an accessory. Haste, MP plus 10%, and white draw. Uh, sounds like a mage needs to be equipped with that. So let's take a look at Vivi. Oh, he can't learn anything. How about uh, Queena? MP 
plus 10%, that's not good enough. And Freya, oh, she can learn White Draw. But that's not better than the Desert Boots, although she can't learn anything from that. Haste is going to be extremely well, extremely good to learn, but no one in our party can learn Haste at the moment. I think we'll keep it like this for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.